The COVID-19 pandemic has manifested as both a public health emergency and an economic shock to the Sri Lankan economy. In this scenario, the most important aspect will be the transformation of the economy into the next phase of our economic development, and that is, by definition, into modern services. Sri Lanka historically has had uh, variable rankings on the World Bank's Doing Business Index. It's ranked some 99th out of 160 countries globally, uh, which is not a high rank. And there have been traditionally problems with uh, availability of land for business purposes. There have been some issues about business exiting particular sectors, particularly in terms of being able to terminate employment. There have been issues around electricity, variability, which are a problem. And there have been issues about roads to port access. Port City project is a 25-year project. It's essentially for the next generation. We are closely engaging with the government to implement the software that is required, business-friendly laws and regulations. So the port city is going to be the first special economic zone for services in Sri Lanka. So we are reclaiming 269 hectares of land. Of that, one third is open spaces accessible for public. That includes parks, beaches, waterways and the road network. So Port City is going to be a, a green lung for the city of Colombo. Port City requested us to analyze how this uh, project is going to impact the Sri Lankan economy. We started with initially looking at various sectors or various industries that is going to be there in the port city. Five variables that we took into account were, number one, employment, number two, the value addition to the economy, foreign direct investment, balance of payment, as well as the impact for the government tax revenue. The employment opportunities are created in all stages of the port city which includes land reclamation, which has already got completed, the construction stage, as well as the operation stage. And also, local companies can use Port City as a platform to go global. So in that sense, we will create high-value jobs, we will create a lot of opportunity beyond the traditional vacancies which are available in Sri Lanka for the future generation. What is important to understand when you are analyzing the impact on any variable, including employment, is that there is a huge indirect and induced impact. A very important condition is to have the human capital to make this world-class modern services center function. This is the really important ingredient. And for that, you need two things. One is that we need to have scientists, engineers, IT people, financiers, etc., coming from the Sri Lankan system into this special economic zone to work there. Second is we have to have an open labor market so that professionals from the region and beyond can come into Sri Lanka easily. And this means work permits which are easy to obtain that may be all done online. You need to have market access to your neighboring and distant countries. And inevitably, this means looking at trade agreements. High net worth individuals and local business leaders, we want them to be aware of the project and be promoting this project. 
So the India-Sri Lanka free trade agreement, upgrading that is very important. An agreement with China, as well as the agreements with Singapore and Thailand, and eventually going into agreements right across the Asia Pacific. This will act as an engine for Sri Lanka's future transformation, not just into services, but more importantly into a higher income category that we aim to be by 2025, away from this upper middle income status. The important aspect here is that we are creating a future-proof city, giving utmost importance to sustainability and being agile for the change in technology so that we remain relevant after the city is fully operational in 25 years. So it's a transformative project, but we have to do many things to make sure that it becomes a reality rather than something just on the drawing board. And as a whole, to ensure inclusive growth for Sri Lanka.